Hey guys! So place value charts can help us figure out the value of digits in a number. If I'm dealing with a decimal and I'm looking at my decimal point, everything to the left of the decimal is a whole number. That means the value is one or greater. But if it's to the right of a decimal point, it's going to be smaller than one whole. After the decimal point, we have our tenths, our hundredths, our thousandths. As you can see, even though they have words in them like hundred and thousandth, the further I go to the right, the smaller the value of that digit it will be. So let's look at an example of a number in a place value chart. Here we have the number two and 133 thousandths. To the right of the decimal point, these digits are less than one whole. And this is two whole numbers, two ones. These threes are the same digit, but they are not the same value. Remember, in our number system and on the place value chart, every time we go to the left, it increases by times 10. That means the hundredth spot is 10 times the value of the thousandth spot. This three is 10 times the value of this three. But how do I say that the other way around? Well, we're going to use fractions to describe the change in value when we go to the right on a place value chart. We're going to say that this three is one tenth the value of the three in the hundreds. That means the thousandths place is one tenth of the hundred spot. That means it's smaller. Let's look at another example of that. Take a look at the number 15,532. Here I have two fives, same digits, but different values, just like the last example. I know by looking at this number that this five is bigger than this five. The five in the thousandths place, which would be right here, is what the value of the five in the hundred spot. Well, the thousands place is bigger, right? And it's just one place bigger. That means the five in the thousand spot is 10 times the value of the five in the hundred spot. It's 10 times larger. Here we have the number 28,382. The eight in the thousandths place is blank the value of the eight in the tens place. Well, this time we are two place values over. If each place value increases by times 10, then when we move two places over, that's 10 times and then another 10 times. Well, 10 times 10 is what? 100. So since the thousands place is two place values larger than the tens place, that means this eight is 100 times the value of the eight in the tens place. Here we have 192 and 26 hundredths. The two in the tenths place is blank the value of the two in the ones place. So it's starting off talking about the tenths and it's comparing it to the ones. Well, if I'm starting with the tenths, tenths are smaller than ones because they're less than one whole. So it wouldn't make sense to say that the tenths is 10 times something because that means larger. This time I'm comparing something smaller. So remember what I said before, if this way it is going by times 10, then the other way it's going to be one tenth. That's just one tenth the value. That just means one place value smaller. Which number has a nine that is one tenth the value of a nine in two and ninety four hundredths? Here, I'm talking about a nine, which is in my, well, decimal point, tenths, hundredths. It's in my tenths. If I am looking for one tenth the value, that means I am looking for something smaller. If it's just one tenth, that's just one place smaller. So you have to think to yourself, what is one smaller than the tenth spot? 
Well, that is the hundred spot. The hundred spot is one tenth the tenth spot. So that means I'm looking for a nine in the hundred spot, which is right here. 